Compromises of the K3 mod with the 09 chain, guys. Now, this is a sub ohm chain, very unique design in terms of the sub ohm chain with that, um, like sort of curved glass, guys. But let's get down to the unboxing and let's see what this kit, very cheap kit, comes with, guys. See you down there. Okay, now we're down here with the Sigeli v Sigo K3 kit. As you can say, firstly, as you can see, guys, perfect for beginners, great for vapors. Now, this um, kit, um, yes, it is a beginner kit, but the mod can be used by any vapor, I, I think, guys. Now, just some specifications of the mod at the back. Wattage range, 10 watts to 150 Voltage input 6.4 volts to 8.4 volts. Voltage output 1 volt to 7.5 volts. Resistance range 0 0.05 to 3 ohms, which is very nice. I mean, you can fire right down to 0 0.05 uh, ohm coils, which is really good, guys. Temperature range um, 100 degrees Celsius to 300 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Fahrenheit to 570 degrees Fahrenheit. Atomizer, atomizer capacity is two millimeters. Now it contains one K3 mod, one zero nine tank. I think that's what they call in the tank, the zero nine. One replacement coil, one USB cable, two times user manuals, one warranty card and spare parts. And just a legal disclaimer down here, warning and some other legal stuff, guys. QR code down right here with websites right there guys now you get the scratch and release on the side with the Sigeli logo at the bottom you get the v Sigo logo and at the side more logos with the k3 kit guys now right at the top you get the i should think that's a manufacturing date 2018 uh, april 9th and this is black in color guys now let's open it up Let's see what it comes with, guys. Nice magnetic case, I must say. Really nice packaging. It does really stand out, guys. Now, as you open it, you do have this, like, book flap thingy here, which is magnetized. Really nice magnets. Firstly, you're going to see the two user manuals, guys. And how to actually... How to utilize the security code and how to check the authenticity. Let's put all of that aside, guys, and let's look at the star of the show, the v Sigo K3 kit, guys. Now, this is a K3 mod with the 09 tank. Now, you get a spare, you get a, a bag of O-rings here, which is a spare red O-ring, and this other gray one that you do have here is your airflow ring adjustment. Now, I will show that to you right now. You have a spare coil here, guys. Now this is, let's take it out of here so you guys can have a look at it nicely. Now this here guys looks to be a parallel a coil, 0.2 ohm, best vape between 60, if you can't get that in here. Now you can't, best vape between 60. Uh, sorry, best vape uh, between 70 and 90, and it is 60 to 100 watts on this particular coil right here, guys. Now, I'm sure that the one on the inside will be the exact same thing. Now, let's check it out, guys. When we open this up. Now, let's just go through this tank first, and let's get a few specs. Now, height, you will be looking at... 
41 millimeters guys from tuk tuk to positive pin you're looking at the inside ball of the catch cup which is um, 12 millimeters surprisingly and your chimney is six millimeters guys now just slightly over there now your width of the tank section and base you're looking at 24 millimeters guys now this is the online tank and as you can see i do dig this gray color right here i do like that like matte finish gray color and it does look quite nice the design does look nice as well but cons guys they do not give you an extra gloss now your top cap and drip tip is incorporated here and we will see how it performs whether it is comfortable on the lips now to get that off you just unscrew it off guys and that screws directly onto the you can say the chimney of the coil and let's get this glass out of here rather if we can let's try and get it out of here now i think to actually get the base off you need to screw back the top cap just like that grab a hold of the glass and oh actually no you do it just the way i showed you you open this up just take that glass off guys now be careful with this because they do not give you a spare and it is quite tight in the beginning actually guys i think i'm not going to take it out right now because it is quite tight and i might just break in it and they do not give you a spare one guys but the coil is exactly the same in here 0 0.20 70 uh, 60 to 100 watts best between 70 and 90 guys now this is that parallel coil not much to say about this chain guys because it is a sub ohm tank and those are basically you buy a commercial coil fill it up and that's that now as you can see segali at the bottom zero nine right there and that's the model of the tank i should think guys now let's move on to the mod because this is what i want to talk about guys and this is the mod guys now it is a really 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 light guys i mean like it's really light without batteries at the back here you can see the v logo which is like sort of like molded in v right there k3 right there now this isn't like a grayish color i mean it did say black at the top but it looks more of a gray a dull gray or dark corporate sort of gray which i dig black battery cover and adjustable let's just have a look here I don't think it is adjustable, but it is a spring loaded 510 pin, guys. Now, venting for the battery, you do see this at the bottom right here. Now, let's take off this battery cover and how you do it. You basically just grab onto the tab at the bottom and pull it out. There is a magnet there, and there is a magnet right there, guys. Right there for it to clip on. And it basically clips onto this part here and just clips on with the magnet down there nice a long battery strap guys now let's put some batteries in here now firstly i want to show you that this isn't clearly marked and this should be marked in a different color your battery orientation marks and basically you're going to do it positive up on this side and negative up on the other side guys it is kind of difficult to see if you're in a very dimly lit setup but it is okay quite visible but i would like to see that in a different color to make it easier for beginner vapors guys now to slip it on you just stick the clip under there like so and just clips on just like that five clicks on one two three four five oh, it was on sorry guys five clicks on v signal and it goes directly into it which i like guys now to get into your temperature settings or whatever guys you click on your fire button three times one two three and this will get up your menu settings now you have your power or normal wattage mode guys 
Now this is a bit bright. So hopefully you can see it this way. Now you have your power mode, then stainless steel, which and then your temperature settings, stainless steel, titanium one, nickel two hundred, then your curve settings, your TCR settings, guys. But I'm not really a fan for all of those. I stick to power settings. Now to uh, get into your preheat, you press the fire button and your wattage up button. Just like so, preheat power adjustment. Now you can adjust your preheat here. And I must say this chipset in here is very similar to the Sigeli Snow Wolf and the uh, sort of old E-Leaf new uh, Wismec type setups and very easy chip to work with. Now let's set our preheat here to we'll set it at 60, we'll say 80 watts guys, 80 watts for half a second. Now it does glow quite fast but not as fast as say smog stuff. Now let's go down. Now your minimum time setting here is 0.1 second. Now let's go up to half a second guys. Uh, a sixth of a second is fine. Now that's basically it. You hold on your your uh, wattage down and wattage up button in temperature mode. You can set your resistance or lock your resistance in temperature mode, guys. Now let's put on the mod. Put some juice in here, guys, and let's see how it vapes. So let's get that back on here. But firstly, let's turn this off because we don't want to dry, uh, fire this and burn out our coal mistakenly, guys. Now let's get this on here. And secondly, what I'm gonna do is show you how this airflow ring works. So basically, it's a silicone airflow ring adjustment. What you wanna do is just get it on there and line it up with your ports. And it would be easier if this was out of here. Now basically, what you wanna do is just get it onto the gray part of it and it does match, so it is quite cool and just make sure it is how you want it guys now me i like it all the way open because i'm uh as much airflow as you can get type of guy i like my air <laughs> and that's just me now one irritating thing about the silicone is if you just bump it up like this as you can see it closes off your airflow guys so keep that in mind now make sure it's all set up nicely and open up and you know what guys, if you like me, who don't even close off the airflow, you really don't need that ring. So, let's screw this back on here. And let's fill this up with some juice guys. And today we're going to be using some Neon Bacon Strawberry Watermelon Punch, 3 milligram liquid. Let's get off this top cap here guys. And I will show another video on how to do the coil change once I've used this tank for a couple of days and loosened up that o-ring guys. So let's just fill this tank up all the way guys. Sorry about that. Let's fill it all the way up. Just like that. Now I wouldn't suggest that you fill it right to the top. I would suggest that you stop at the curve right there guys. So you would stop right there because you need to actually put on this top cap. Now what you would do is just screw it on guys. Just like this. Just like so guys. Now let's leave this to sit for a couple of minutes and We'll take it up top and see how it vapes. See hey how guys, top, now guys. we're back up top here and we let this coil soak in that um, juice, neon bacon juice, the watermelon, a strawberry watermelon punch, guys. Um, yeah, the coil omen out at 0.24. I'm not too sure how accurate this chipset is, but we will test it out in the next week or so and I will report back to you guys. Now let's have a vape and let's see how this vapes. Firstly guys, really really nice flavor. 
Now the cotton taste took about say three to four hits to actually dissipate and after this I'm just getting really nice flavor from this coil which I'm really impressed with. I got it sitting at 64 watts and I'm not sure if you can see that the screen is a bit bright guys but yo really nice flavor guys I am impressed I really am especially for a sub home tank it's giving me a vape sort of like a 0.25.28 vape um on the can tell why that's how I feel it is guys but that's just my opinion guys really nice flavor vapor production is good as well flavor I'll give it a 7 out of 10 vapor production 6 out of 10 guys but I must say this kit is a really nice looking kit. It's very cheap as well, guys. Um, this is at the moment going for say around about 600 bucks. So, well, well worth it. And it's so light, guys. It is literally so light. I mean, this, it, it has the batteries in it, eh? And it is literally, it's, it's light, guys, trust me, it is light, it is really, really, really light, guys, and I don't know, that's all I can say about it, guys, now let me know of your opinions down in the comment section below, and hit that like button if you've liked this video, and subscribe to my channel for daily vape reviews, that's Vaping Mofo, out.